Dear children, today we are going to discuss about an activity at the end of the lesson, How far is to the river? Take page number 13, 19, activity 13a. You can see a paragraph. Read it. In the paragraph, some words are in bold letters. You know which are they? Okay, I will tell you in detail. See the sentence. I am going to write the sentence here. The cat is sitting the table. Have you got the meaning of the sentence? Are you confused? Yes, we need some clarification, isn't it? Now the cat is sitting the table. What do you mean by sitting the table? Is the sentence uh, conveying the right meaning? No. Now we need, uh, now there is some confusion, isn't it? How can we convey this sentence in a right way? Can you write another way? Okay, I'll write, say this. The cat is sitting under the table. Is it clear now? Yes, we got the correct meaning or right meaning. The cat is sitting under the table. Where is the cat sitting? Yes, have you got, can you say the answer, correct answer? Yes, under the table. Now here I added the uh, word under. Now we got the correct meaning. Okay, I will give you another example. The boy will go home the class. The boy will go home the class. Is the are you confused now? Do you need more uh, clarification? Yes, something uh, something uh, missed there, isn't it? Now the boy will go home the class. Go home the class. Now the sentence is convey is not conveying the right meaning. Now how can we write another way? The boy will go home after the class. After the class. I think all of you got the correct meaning or the right meaning. Yes, here I added the word after. Then it is cleared. Isn't it? Now here uh, the word under and after. These are the prepositions. What are the prepositions? Do you know? Okay, let's discuss. What are the prepositions? You know? The prepositions are the words used to link the nouns or pronouns with the other words. What are the nouns? We have already learned it. The name of a person, name of a thing, name of a place, or name of feeling. Okay. And pronoun. Pronoun means he, she, we, they, it, etc. And what are the other words? The, that is include nouns. Adjective. Adjective, you know, the describing words we have learnt and adverbs. Now, these are the, uh, the prepositions are the words used to link. That's the linking words. Linking words means join this side to this side. That is the noun name. Other words name link cheyyanilla. Words site and the prepositions use in them. Okay. It may give, uh, that uh, prepositions make a sentence meaningful. Or make the sentence complete. The correct meaning or uh, right meaning kittanangil ingine ulla preposition gunda namke saathi maaku. Okay, I will tell in detail. Okay, say this. What are the different types of prepositions? Mainly there are three situations. The first one, when. First one, when. What do you mean by when? That is, in which time, when the events or the things happened or we can call it the preposition of time. 
ചില സമയങ്ങളിൽ ഏത് സമയത്താണ് ചില കാര്യങ്ങൾ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ സംഭവങ്ങളൊക്കെ നടന്നത് എന്ന് കാണിക്കാൻ ഉപയോഗിക്കുന്നതാണ് പ്രിപ്പോസിഷൻ ഓഫ് ടൈം ഇൻ ദിസ് മെയിൻലി ഇൻക്ലൂഡ് ദ പ്രിപ്പോസിഷൻസ് ഇൻ അറ്റ് ഓൺ ഓക്കെ ഐ വിൽ ഗിവ് യു ദ എക്സാമ്പിൾസ് ഫോർ ഇറ്റ് ബിഫോർ ദാറ്റ് ലെറ്റ്സ് ഗോ ടു ദ നെക്സ്റ്റ് പാർട്ട് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് വർ ദാറ്റ് ഡിനോട്ട്സ് എ പ്ലേസ് ഓക്കെ ദെൻ വർ ഡേഴ്സ് ദ ഇവൻസ് ഓർ ദ തിങ്സ് ഹാപ്പൻഡ് or the prepositions of place in this group uh, include the prepositions under above in on and at adilum und in on and at let's discuss it detailed and the third one that is the in which direction in which direction that the uh, event happened or in which direction the things happened ed direction like aan karyangal cheynadu allengil nadakkunadu ennaan kaanikkunadu in this include the prepositions in into of from okay i will give you it in detail okay now we are going to discuss about the situations of different situations of the preposition which was the first situation which is the first situation that is the preposition of time if we ask the question to that uh, sentence using when or time in a denote cheyanadana adu nammal upayogichirikkunathu in on at now let's uh, see some examples my birthday falls in may my birthday falls in may when does my birthday my birthday falls in may may in a month ne kanikkunu that is the time now adinu vendi nammal ubayichirikkuna linking words edana here the words are birthday and may these two words are linked uh, using the word preposition in 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 the uh, um, uh, preposition aanu ivide use edirikkunu then one more example my exam ends on monday my exam ends on monday when does my exam end it's on monday that's the time here we use the preposition on to link between exam and monday or it specific time aanu avada kaanichirikkunu so we use the preposition oh okay now now let's go to the another situation second situation that is the preposition of place now we do not were preposition of of place adin nammal oru vaad examples parnu oru vaad prepositions parnu in on at these are the preposition used here and another uh, words are under below above etc now in that situation also we used in on at idu nammal preposition and time ilum parnu same then ivide ubikkam but different situation now i will tell the pen is on the table the pen is on the table here uh, you ask a question to that sentence where is the pen we used were where is the pen it is on the table the pen and table are linked together using the preposition on okay ivide nammal on vechu nerathem on on monday nu vechu adu time ne denote cheyunu idu place ne denote cheyunu ivide same preposition ana use cheyidikkunathu then one more i kept my book just below the desk i kept my book just below the desk what uh, what did i keep my book i kept it below the desk now here i used the preposition below to link between the words kept my and desk idu rendum idu rendu name 
ലിങ്ക് ചെയ്യാൻ വേണ്ടി ഉപയോഗിച്ചിരിക്കുന്നത് ബിലോ എന്ന ഒരു പ്രിപ്പസിഷനാണ് നമ്മൾ യൂസ് ചെയ്തിരിക്കുന്നത് ഓക്കെ നാവ് വൺ മോർ എക്സാമ്പിൾ ഐ കെപ്റ്റ് മൈ വാച്ച് ഇൻ എ ബോക്സ് ഐ കെപ്റ്റ് മൈ വാച്ച് ഇൻ എ ബോക്സ് വാച്ച് ഡ് ഐ കീപ്പ് മൈ വാച്ച് ഇൻ എ ബോക്സ് നൗ ഹിയർ ഐ യൂസ് ദ പ്രിപ്പസിഷൻ ഇൻ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് എ ലിങ്കിങ് വേർഡ് ബിറ്റ്വീൻ ദ വാച്ച് ആൻഡ് ദ ബോക്സ് ഇറ്റ്സ് ദ ലിങ്കിങ് വേർഡ് നൗ ഹിയർ ഐ യൂസ്ഡ് ഇൻ ആൻഡ് ഇൻ ഓൺ എബ വൺ മോർ ഈസ് ദ There is my files my files are above the bundle above the red bundle my files are above the red bundle here i use the preposition above now this above are the linking word used to link the files and the bundle okay now let's uh, go to another situation that is uh, we in which direction in which direction direction kanikkana ed bhagam ennu kanikkunadinana now i'll tell we went we went to school we went to school what did i where did we go what did we go we went to school here the prepositions used to to link between these two words okay that's a denote a direction were uh, to which direction that denotes okay now one more is now he went he went up the hill he went up the hill where did he go he went up the hill okay that is that denote a direction ഒരു ഹില്ലിൻ്റെ മുകളിലോട്ടാണ് അവൻ പോയിരിക്കുന്നത് ഒരു ഡിറക്ഷൻ കാണിക്കുന്നതാണ് ഹിയർ അപ്പ് ഈസ് എ ലിങ്കിങ് വേൾഡ് ബിറ്റ്വീൻ ഹി വെൻറ്റ് ആൻഡ് ദ ഹിൽ ഓക്കെ ഐ തിങ്ക് യു ഗോട്ട് ദ പോയിൻറ്റ് ഓക്കെ വൺ മോർ സിറ്റുവേഷൻ ഈസ് ദ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ദർ ആർ ത്രീ സി മെയിൻലി ത്രീ സിറ്റുവേഷൻ വൺ മോർ പ്രിപ്പോസിഷൻ ഈസ് ദർ പ്രിപ്പോസിഷണൽ പ്രിപ്പോസിഷണൽ ഫ്രേസ് prepositional phrase i will write the boy the boy walked through the forest the boy walked through the forest now here the preposition is the, what do you mean by the prepositional uh, phrases prepositional phrases prepositional phrases are a group of words containing a preposition now through the forest these are the prepositional phrases in this uh, through is the preposition used in this group of words now prepositional phrase phrases are the group of words containing a preposition through the uh, forest then one more the baby is crawling over the grass 
in the park the baby is crawling over the grass in the park where is the baby uh, now look now here over the grass over the grass that is a group of words group of words that is the prepositional phrases a group of words containing a preposition which is that preposition over is the preposition a baby crawl cheynathu grass inde mugalilude crawl cheyana parkilulla grass inde mullil kudiyana crawl cheynathu so now here uh, the preposition is over over the grass is the prepositional phrases okay now we have learned a lot of preposition in on at about just uh, sorry below uh, between middle oru vaadu prepositions undu okay then i will give you some uh, activities or fill in the blanks okay thank you take page number 20 there are two activities for you the first activity b now there are some sign boards the some uh, you have to fill that sign board using the prepositions now that is very similar familiar uh, sign boards to you okay you may do in that space and the next one activity c that is the description there is a picture you should describe that picture using the preposition each and every sentence there will be the preposition there should be the prepositions in each and every sentence okay thank you